Hello, this is a challenge. How fast you can install Enterprise Architect with Sparks Pro Cloud Server? First, I install Enterprise Architect version 13.5, the default directory. Finish. Then I can already start Enterprise Architect. I can open the scenarios that I have prepared to demonstrate the visualization of the ProCloud server installation. This is also part of the EAP sample. You can see the configuration possibilities, but it's a challenge of performance, so I have to install now the ProCloud server too. Including the Internet Information Server integration because I need it later on. Finish. And what to do now? You have to configure the ProCloud server. It is already running. We can verify with, with services. Here are the Sparks Profession Systems Professional Cloud Services running automatic and that local system. The default configuration, it's not a secret. The management port is 803, the HTTP port 804, and the HTTPS port 805. For HTTPS, you have some more configuration. Now I configure a database that can be accessed through the cloud services. For configuration, I need the management port, localhost. By default, there is no database manager configured. There's a fast way to get one, test 01. If you call it FIP or FDB, both are allowed. It's a Firebird database. Then I define an alias. Typically it's by default the same, but to be sure. Um, this, the last step I have to do is to enable this database manager to be accessible. I go to the configuration. What you can see here, there is no license at the moment for ProCloud, but for the standard cloud service, it's just to connect to Enterprise Architect, it's fine. You can have no license. So that's fine. That's done everything. If I go to Enterprise Architect, now I can connect to the ProCloud server already. Test 01, local host, and test 01. And now I'm connecting through ProCloud Server to the database. Just to verify it, create some stuff, requirements, use cases, maybe just as a sample. And now we are working directly with this test 01 through ProCloud Server. Uh, where is this database? This database is, that's no secret anymore, it's behind models. Then you see here test 01 some samples of the trials before. Um, yes, and you can also connect directly to this FIP file if you want. So that's all for installation.